hello students in our last lecture we discuss up to the condition of contract so in our last lecture we discuss up to total 23 conditions of the contract okay now today we discuss on a sub contracting so before starting of the sub contracting so first we discuss what is general contracting so general contracting involve separation of the construction from the design here design and construction both are the different in contracting and a main contractor is employed to build what a designer have specified so here design is ready and here main contractor is a look like a employed and since this from a procurement was developed and it has become very common and it is often referred to as a traditional so it is both used in a building and a civil engineering sector of a construction industry so in a sub contracting is a most important nowadays is a most important thing to complete any project within a time limit and uh, with a, uh, uh, a specify uh, specified uh, specification now we subcontractor so this one is a important point in a subcontracting so a subcontractor is an individual or in many cases a business that sign a contract to be performed part or all of the obligation of the another contract and a subcontractor is a hired by the general contractor means a main or a prime contractor and uh, Uh, this contractor perform a specific task as as a part of the overall project and in a sub contractor totally uh, work done as per the guidance of the main contractor or a primary uh, prime contractor so uh, the most common concept of the sub contractor is a building work and a civil engineer the range of opportunities for a subcontractor is much wider and it is possible that the greatest number now operate in a information technology and a information sector of a business now second point is uh, why subcontractor why we required subcontract so here today's construction industries is characterized by the prevalence of a subcontract so the main contractor to an ever increase extent reducing the that dependency on a direct employee labor so in consequence most if not all the project involves some degree of subcontracting and many cases the whole work will be carried out uh, this way like a civil engineering project so the con construction industries is categorized by the complex activity uh, realizing the time constraint project so he if all the work is completed on time so here for a speedily work work is divided into number of the part and given in a sub contract to complete the uh, work on a time so the highly complexity and uh, differentiation of the such activity and the technology involved necessarily low lead to outstanding practice so the principal uh, agent thus is a general con contractor that select the organize coordinates and uh, manage a subcontractor and a specialist among along the construction supply chain so the success of the project is to extend related to the degree of uh, collaboration and uh, coordination existing among the uh, actors involved next uh, topic we start is a uh, legal basis of the sub contracting so it is an important principle of uh, contract law that where there is a contract between the a and b so a may not a simple decide to uh, replace by the c so if a wish to hand all rights and obligation to c then simply drop out 
drop uh, drop out of a picture there must be novation so in effect there is a new contract to replace the old one and all three parties must agree on it so the laws view is that b has made this contract on the basis of uh, holding a uh, irresponsible on it and uh, the right to do so is not to be unilaterally taken away so a novation then is a contract that transfer both the rights and obligation from uh, one of the original parties to the new party so an assignment on their on the other hand occur while the original party transfer only contractual right so like example like a uh, employee who properly develop a might wish uh, wish to assist uh, sorry wish to assign the first uh, purchaser of a building the right of the claim against the contractor for uh, breach of the contract if any defect appear so on the other hand there is an almost principle of a uh, uh, performance this occurs when a party may wish to have its a contractual obligation carried out by the some else and uh, while remaining legally responsible for the performance of this obligation how however it will not permitted where the contracting parties have been uh, specific, uh, specifically selected for the personal qualification skill and uh, competence and a most modern standard form contract uh, places express limits on the extent to which the main contractor may satisfy the contractual obligation uh, through the medium of the subcontractor now uh, next topic we discuss is a contractual chain so the basic position in a law is that a main contract and a subcontract and a subcontract if there is one are uh, regarded as a link in a chain so the doctrine of uh, priority contract means that the right and obligation contain in each contract apply one only to those who are the parties to it now thus the main contractor uh, main contract affect only the employer and the main contractor and a subcontract only affect the main contractor and subcontractor and so on so here if the main contractor is affected by any problem or uh, any situation so this effect is totally uh, transfer on a subcontract so the idea of a chain uh, idea of a chain liability work perfectly well so long as all the links are interconnected so here all the links is totally depend on uh, each other so all the work related to any contract or uh, any construction are uh, totally depend on uh, each other and uh, if any effect on a main contractor so all the subcontractor is affected by the same problem here example is given where there are defects in a subcontractors work the employee will have to contractual rem, uh, remedy against the main contractor who will in run take action against the subcontractor and similarly subcontractor right to payment will be exercised against the main contractor who will reimburse by what is the received from the employee now however a chain is only as, as a strong as its uh, weakest link and a considerable problem arise as soon as uh, one of the link break and the dangers of a broken chain is uh, well illustrated by the canadian case of the smith and uh, 
V. Johnson Bros. And uh, these concern a subcontractor for tunneling work which was to be carried out according to dimensions and uh, specification as a set forth in the main contract. So the clause of that a main contract empowered the engineer to order any work to be suspended in which case main contractor would be entitled to an extension of a time but not a compensation for a loss of an expense and uh, acting under these causes the engineer order the tunneling work to be stopped and the main contractor passed on this instruction to the subcontractor so this it was held and titled subcontractor to recover damage from the main contractor for uh, breach of contract and the subcontract had no express term equivalent to that uh, in a main contract permitting suspension of the work nor had that a main contract term been incorporated by the reference into the subcontract now uh, next topic we discuss is a uh, subcontracting in a civil engineering sector so this topic we discuss in a uh, next lecture so here we stop our